welcome to another episode. What we've got here is a Samsung Gear VR with its controller. It's also known as the SMR325 or the SM-R325. So this came out in 2017. I believe the R324 came out in 2016. Now the reason why I've got this one is because you can see right here I've got a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And from what I've seen on the internet is that this, even though it wasn't designed for this phone, because obviously this came out before the phone did, it does actually fit because it has the USB-C um, port on it inside. So you know it's this one if you're looking though, it says now compatible with the Galaxy Note 8, because that was the latest version that this thing's come out for. And as we know this weekend or this past week, the uh, Note 10 has come out. So. They haven't brought out later versions of this yet but there's no real reason by the looks of it so let's get it open because this is actually an unboxing because it is brand new labels completely untouched nothing too interesting on the top and on the side here it says all of that and the other side it's just it's, that's the little bit that I'm interested in because that's the bit that actually plugs into the phone and then on the bottom it has your barcode and then the colour of it. So as I say, let's get a look inside. I'm really hoping that this works first time because it's kind of annoying if you're trying to make an opening, a box opening and your video gets messed up. So there we go, broken inside. Let's put that blade out of the way. Probably didn't have to do both sides, but I have done. First look, just here it is. Some fun stuff to peel off in a minute. No polystyrene, so fellow dislikers of polystyrene will be happy. They say it's brand new, looks actually a little bit dusty on the front there. Nothing else inside the box, so let's just get back to the side. This best Bosch. Right, we have a little box here. Let's see what's inside here. Obviously the controller I would have thought, but just make sure. So we've got the user guide. We'll just miss that, eh? There's probably not much to it. Oh, there's a little booklet at the back. Warranty card. Stuff. So we've got the straps. Let's just pull it all out and see what we've got. Seems to be a fair bit of it. I'm quite surprised there's this much. Yeah. And then the controller. And then a couple of batteries sticking in the bottom there. Just fold that up. Put that back. Take this out as well this to one side right let's have a look at the big thing first it's obviously the head unit peel this off for the very first time there we go so we've got is the panel that comes off of the front there. You can see straight through to the lenses, but I'll leave that in for now so we don't get dust over the lenses. If I first started using it, there's the control area, a back button, and a home button. Obviously, the lenses says that on the side if anyone's actually heard of this style of battery let me know because I don't think I've ever noticed them before you can see them dying pretty quickly I'll probably replace them with uh, some AAA rechargeable batteries Size for when we're ready for them to put in the controller. So some st 
straps. That's the top one. And the side ones. They actually come out quite a distance. Sure, what it's used for right this minute. Maybe we do have to read the user guide after all. I seem to remember it's maybe to uh, put onto the straps and then you hold the controller in there for when you're not using it. Small controller. So if I'm clicking there. Interesting. an unusual option that they've done there they've on the head unit they've got home on the left and back on the right but on the controller they've got it back on the left and home on the right that doesn't really make much sense if you're gonna come on Samsung if you're gonna pick an interface or a user come on you should be getting them in buttons in the same places the person's gonna be used to clicking to the button to the left when they're reaching up it's gonna be that that's very silly design that to do it the opposite way around because obviously they own the rights to it so they could have done it yes I know I'm being picky but um, it seems when uh, you would think a big company spending an awful lot of R&D they'd uh, match things up a bit when they're going through the interfaces obviously it's just one of these little things to stop it uh, from being lost I'll faff around with that later to make sure that uh, that's actually in there. Assuming. Oh, there we go, it's just. Take the battery compartment off, push it in, and then it just pulls another peg. Okay, let's get the batteries in. So, positive at this end. The way that these are coloured is actually sort of the other way around from some major brands of where the different colours are at the positive end, on these it's at the negative end. So let's get that in there. So, there we go, it's blinking. You can sit there blinking while I get the straps on. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Inside you already saw a connector, but this is a different connector and this is the micro USB connector. The one that's already in there is actually the USB-C. So if you've got an older phone from Samsung, you might need the micro USB one, you can use that. But uh, for the more modern phones that have USB-C, it's already plugged in from the factory. So just put that to the side and look after that. Because if I sell this in the future, it might come in handy for somebody else. So, what we have to do is get the phone inside here. So, I just, let's do it I love the way that you're looking at it from front on. So on the right hand side is the release mechanism. So you just pull that all the way to the right. This comes up. And then the bottom of the phone is at this end. I understand is that you just lift this up, plug it in, lay it down. Welcome to your Samsung Gear VR. To start the setup process, remove your mobile device, unlock it, and install the required apps on it. Well, there we go. So we have to unlock it again. Take it back out. this thing here. So press start. I'm connected up to my Wi-Fi already on my phone. I'd recommend that you do that at home as well unless you've got like a really large um, account for your phone so that you can have like five gigabytes or something like that. It's nowhere near that amount but you don't want to waste 
if you're at home plugging it in, you don't want to waste it, so you might as well hook up to your own Wi-Fi. So we want to install everything. So there we go, there's basically 360 megabytes. I've got a download. So yeah, if you're on a two gigabyte sort of uh, not bandwidth but um, limit, that's gonna chew a fair bit up. You know, so definitely want to be hooked up to your Wi-Fi while you're doing this. It may well tell you to do that anyway, but uh, while I'm at home I've got it set so that it always connects to my Wi-Fi when I'm home. So I'll just type in my details. So after you've signed in, you end up with this bit. So it's telling you to insert the batteries uh, controller and press and hold the home button. It even circles it for you. So press and hold that. So we have to comp calibrate the controller, so we press next. So draw a figure eight. Don't feel silly doing this. Place on a flat surface of the table for a few seconds, so put it down that way. That's done. So if you're right handed or left handed, you can pick and choose. change it at any time by going back to the home screen. Right, so we press done. And there we go, we can go into having whichever things we want to play or download or whatever. Let's see. Just because I'm being cheap, let's see if anything's for free. that let's do it there we go so there we go it is actually downloading it it does help if you press buttons this application insert your device in your gear VR so it said install but then it changed to start just as I pressed it so let's turn the phone over plug it back in again oh, don't think it's much of a click as that okay let's install the strap what you do is that the softer part of the velcro you have sticking outwards so you put that down one side there it can be a bit fiddly and of course the whole point of all this is to make it fit your head 
think it'll fit most sizes of heads, small or large. And even the people with medium sized heads. So this is the controller um, holder as they call it. So what you do is stick it, or not stick it, but thread this over the top. First, slide that along a bit. Then feed this through here. Because then you can, when not in use, you can stuff the, the controller in the side here. Just like that. And no, I'm not trying to be, was it Tommy Cooper? And you get this hook on here, but it might be easier to actually that through first. Pull up. There we go. And then line it up to this bit at the back here. You maybe can't see too well on this camera, but basically there's a soft bit of the Velcro, a gap for the elastic, and then another bit, and then a gap, and another bit. It's the bit in the middle. It's kind of obvious which one it is because it lines up quite perfectly with the bit on the top strap there. And there we go, we've got it all plugged in. The S10 Plus obviously fits, it obviously loads up with the software. And really, that's all that I wanted to show you with this video. I don't believe it's possible to put the cap back on, but we can. See, it, just, it wouldn't fit back on again, so basically what happens when your phone's in, it becomes the front. It'd be kind of nice if they had just had this so it sort of moved out of the way and you could flap it back in again. But uh, that's the way it is. I believe actually, maybe that why they're not doing that, I've just realised, is that some of the applications are actually not just VR, they're actually AR, augmented reality, which can be fun. Obviously I can't really show you anything of real use with this unless I had you sat in the room with me because show, trying to show you 3D or through a 2D camera just isn't going to work. Well I have got plans for this though, I've seen a couple of different emulations for retro systems that you can do in this and make them 3D. I do want to test that out on a later date. So when I figure out how to get that up and going I'll show you how to actually, for you to get it up and going if you have the same sort of setup. But that's it for now, as always, happy gaming!